Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about sleep uh, during chemotherapy. Uh, if you are going through treatment, you know that uh, as we take a steroid, it's really hard for us to sleep well and to go into that deep sleep. And that's probably one of the times that we most need uh, that deep sleep. Uh, it's been proven that it's during that deep sleep that we release a particular hormone. So we need to get into that deep sleep. Um, and if we don't do that, like for example, people that work at night for um, long periods of times, uh, that's really detrimental to our health. Um, and also uh, during that deep sleep, that's when we, um, uh, or our bodies, uh, heal and go into fixing uh, everything that it needs to be fixed. So needless to say that when we are going through cancer treatment we need our bodies to be focusing on our on fixing everything that it's it's broken inside us um so i remember uh, that it was really difficult um i couldn't really get into that uh deep sleep especially uh, straight after uh chemo when i had taken my steroids uh tablet the anti-nausea sickness tablet um i would just you know kind of go into that really light sleep um and i would be obviously really tired in the morning for not only for the chemo but because i didn't sleep um so i kind of got a little bit of help with um i listened to some free meditation that i found that uh had some different like um uh sensory uh, kind of noises uh, that would help me uh, to go into the deep sleep uh, and I could use that during the day uh, so I could rest as well during the day and and I basically uh, would lay down whenever I felt kind of tired and um, and I felt that I, I could get to sleep even if, if it was during the day because I knew that my body really needed that um, because I had run my body to the ground so much um, uh, when I first was diagnosed I just I I just had to uh, lay down or just have my eyes closed uh, for a lot of the times especially you know those three or four or five days after chemo uh, and bear in mind I had only two weeks in between the cycles so and also, I never really got up in the morning when I got into that light sleep. You know, my husband used to say, oh, you, can, you know, you can put the light on, you can read, you can... Because I kind of felt that if I stimulated my brain and my uh, body more, um, I probably wouldn't get back to sleep anyway. And sometimes you just lay there and, you know, as hard and as boring it is, um, it sometimes... Uh, you know, you, you are still resting and obviously I'm not um, suggesting that you need to be chained to your beds but um, we do need all the rest uh, we can during chemo so um, yeah, for me it was, it, it was important to have that time uh, just to lay down and just to rest uh, you know, and sometimes you don't even realize, but you do go back to sleep after, you know, a few hours. Um, so, so yeah, I know it is hard, it is difficult. Um, I've been there, my sleep now is it's great. Um, I sleep really deeply. Uh, and I think that is because I'm really respectful of my uh, bedtime routine. I try not to be on my phone. I don't watch much TV at night uh, or if I watch something I try not to watch um, really close to my bedtime I go to bed really early I still go to bed at nine o'clock every night I wake up at six uh, but for me it's really important to get that um, nine hours of sleep and by the time you know you you get to sleep and and you wake up a little bit earlier because um, it gets light early here uh, for me, it was really, really important to um, to keep to my bedtime routine because I understand now, after all the reading, after um, you know, obviously going through what I've been through, that 
um, my sleep and my sleep routine is a non-negotiable uh, and it's part of my whole kind of uh, health package now and I can't really um, uh, you know I, I can't really uh, compromise on that uh, so for me it's really important to go to bed early when I'm tired and sometimes it could be even earlier than nine o'clock um, and respect that time so my body can really rest and and focus on healing because I know I'm still healing um, it was only the other day that it's been a year since I finished my treatment so uh, on the 15th of November so my body is still healing and I and I think uh, sleep is a massive part of it so I hope hopefully this is helpful um, and yeah don't you know um, don't think that you know you're the only one going through that I think most people that are uh, on the steroids and on the anti-nausea uh, tablets um, are getting these lip mess up with but you know get as much rest as you can um, you know and, and that's not gonna be a forever thing once your treatment is finished um, you know you, you you can get back to uh, sleeping uh, normally hopefully so um, you know this could be a temporary thing if you you know if you don't um, you know get left with anything you know any any kind of permanent side effect but um, yeah just give your body as much rest uh, as you can I uh, hope this is helpful leave me some comments below and I'll speak to you soon